What is post-traumatic stress disorder? That's what we will be looking at today. You know, following a traumatic event, some people experience the particular condition of PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Usually symptoms are seen after a month or so after the trauma and we usually see acute stress symptoms right after the trauma but if symptoms persist that's when we know that there's a possibility of PTSD. Now what can you find with PTSD? You know people re-experience the trauma through vivid and distressing memories or dreams. They find that they avoid situations that remind them of the traumatic event. They feel numb even as though they've not had the same range of feelings as normal. They feel like they're in a state of alertness. They continually watch out for danger. And they might even have mood symptoms, like they lose interest or pleasure in activities. They might have guilt or feelings of loneliness, sleeping problems, feeling detached from other people, or feeling irritable, hostile, self-destructive things that they want to do or they want to just get away from people and isolate themselves. So when you experience these things and even some flashbacks or any of those things in your mind then you know there's a possibility of PTSD and then that's when we need to really seek help. Uh, professional help is available in the form of psychiatrists, clinical psychologists and even your GP can help you just to refer you to the right person as well. In the clinical arena, there is psychotherapy available, especially cognitive behavioral therapy and therapies like EMDR and other therapies that help and that has been evidence-based, a strong clinical background to those therapies. And there's even medication that can be prescribed to help people with PTSD. PTSD can be overcome and you can be helped. The Lord also wants to help people that go through trauma and he wants to come and comfort us and strengthen us because in this broken world bad things happen to God's people too but the Lord is faithful and he promises to never leave us nor forsake us and that he will cover us with his pinions and that under his wings we can find refuge and that his faithfulness is a shield and a buckler to us against the fear of the terror of the night and of the arrows that fly by day or even the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. The Lord is our protector. And that's Psalm 91. So the Lord will help you. And that's my prayer. We will take a look further at trauma next time. God bless. That was Matters of the Soul. Goodbye.